here we are in area Joukamo Ampujoessa garden in Järvenpää near Helsinki and we are discussing about uh, ergonomics and uh, brass playing. How did you get uh, interested in the first place to health issues and the ergonomics in brass playing? Well, I was uh, I had been teaching quite a long time already in Sibelius Academy and and I found out that to be able to teach the students the perfect technique and uh, sort of train them to perform well, uh, I couldn't do that without very good ergonomical advice. Uh, did you saw some ergonomic uh, problems already then? Yes, yes, indeed. Dif wrong kind of uh, postures with the students and then try to um, learn new things together with the physiotherapists so that we could fix the, the problems and brass instruments are heavy and uh, the pressure against the lips from the mouthpiece is quite uh, hard to, to cope with so you really have to be in very good shape to be able to play the brass. It's more challenging. I think brass players have to um, take more care about building up the endurance than maybe maybe pianists in the beginning. And um, we have to have more breaks and sort of really think about um, the, the, the strength more and also the technique more, I think. Do the students and uh, musicians realize and acknowledge these facts? I think they do. They, they realize that it's harder than playing some other instrument. And, and if, if they play in the orchestra, they find out that they are complaining more or complaining earlier than the others that could we have a break mm. or this is hard program or something. Yeah, it's, it's physically tiring. You have been uh, using the Ergobras uh, playing support more than 10 years, I think. Uh, how did you get uh, this idea in the first place? Well, I heard about it and then I thought that that could be a good solution for our extra demands and, and ergonomical problems. And then then I was curious to test it. And uh, ever since you have been using using it, uh, uh, how does it affect to your own playing? Well, um, I think it solved um, some kind of um, holding the instrument shoulder pain issues, and uh, and actually it made me uh, play with a better sound and with more free body. And better sound. Uh. Yeah, well, I think it's because um, you don't hold the instrument, then then also your neck and throat and, and upper body is more free. And then because it's more free, then it affects the sound. Yeah. Because many people are afraid that the, the support is uh, kind of a damping the sound or doing something other mm. harm for the sound, but you have, uh, have not uh, uh, found out anything like that. No, no, just the opposite. Were there any difficulties uh, uh, to start using it? Um, first, it took a little time to find out the um, perfect spot for the, the plate in the instrument, so that I could really find the, the balancing point in my instrument, so I, I don't have to hold it. Or, or So the balance is crucial? Balance is crucial, yes. And then the other thing was... Um, when when you don't hold the instrument, somehow you you lose the somehow the safe and tight feeling what you had from lifting the three kilos up, and uh, then you you miss that. So it's a little bit like making you uncertain for for a while. And I think I I I got used to the playing with Ergohorn in one or two weeks, but then in the concerts. In the, in the orchestra concerts, I still struggle because I so, sort of lost the safe feeling. So it took maybe a little bit more than one month to get used to it. Like So I could also 
play happily the concerts and not worry. So you are freelancing in the orchestras here and, and you are using all, all the time the uh, Ergobras support also in orchestra. How does the other uh, other players react in you playing with the, with, with the support? Well, in the beginning, I think it was a big reaction. Some, some uh, male horn players said that everyone should carry their own horn and it's like... <laughs> child is to try something else yeah and um, then the girls didn't dare to try the ergo horn because they would accept that they are weak or something yeah but then when when time has gone by i think now it's more like woodwinds woodwind players come and say that oh finally you also have something similar what we have and then i think the the horn players are now more curious rather than than having a strong op opinion. Yeah. No more laughing. <laughs> no more laughing, I hope. <laughs> yeah. So have you seen any other brass players, like trombone players, using uh, this kind of a support, like the ergobone trombone support? Yeah, I've seen trombone players and then euphonium players and uh, even uh, Wagner tuba players using the ergobone. How does your students uh, react when you are using the support and uh, are they interested in trying out? Um, most of them ha have uh, tried out the, the, that and then if I give master classes in different um, countries they seem to be curious and then uh, everybody wants to try. I sort of use it in my teaching a bit because I fix their ergonomical uh, beginning situation before they hold the horn so they actually notice that it makes it easier for them to to just take care of their uh, good ergonomy and then just hold the horn without holding it just put the horn in the right place and they find it it's easier so some of them are sort of Get, wa wanting to have more more information about like where to get one, so I let them choose. I'm I'm not forcing anyone to use anything what they don't want to have. But they when they try and test and understand the good points, they sometimes use it. Yeah. Yes. Uh, what about the very young players, little children, and and uh, and maybe under ten years old? little uh, brass players, uh, does it help uh, there to find the right place, the right posture? Um, my experience is that I'm, I'm not teaching regularly the little children, but when I do, I, I see the benefit of not uh, having to remind every five minutes about how to sit or stand, and because they very easily collapse, because the horn is so heavy and then it's also a little not so ergonomical to hold it on the on the leg either so it's like solving those problems are there any great obstacles that uh, prevent uh, students or uh, professional musicians to use uh, the ergo brass supports in 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 their everyday life sometimes the students think that people think they have some physical problems and that's why they have to use the ergo horn. Sometimes they say that um, they are afraid of being totally depended on because it's so comfortable and easy that what if they should play without it and then they are not strong enough. Are there any situations that you sh really should play without it? Well, I haven't found one where, where I couldn't use it. Why wouldn't you play the concert with the most relaxed and best sound? Mm. Okay, Eria, thank you very much for your interview and uh, all the best for your relaxed playing. Okay. <laughs>